So this uh, video is in response to a comment from a viewer, um, Sergio. Uh, he had a question about how to bypass the OBC on this particular model. Um, so again, I, I removed the factory plug that used to go here. I removed it and cut it off and just, I terminated everything and plastic shrink wrapped the ends. Uh, even though you're leaving the OBC in, I'm not using it, even though I'm not using the factory plug, you have to ground the OBC. And let me take you over there and show you that. So all I've done here, coming out of the OBC, this yellow wire, um, it goes down to this plug. It's coming out of the OBC, the yellow plug coming out of the OBC. Uh, what I've done is cut it and I put a ring eyelet on it. The other end of it, I put a ring eyelet on it and I've grounded it to the B negative terminal. You have to do this uh, for the car to operate correctly. Um, it's different on the precedents. There's a blue and a white wire that have to be dealt with on a precedent or some other models. But on this um, series, uh, solid state series cart, this is all you have to do. When you cut the plug off, if you're going to use an onboard charger like I have with the NOCO um, 110 um, adapter up there, if you're going to do that and use an onboard charger for the lithium battery, you have to bypass this. Uh, how do I know that? I learned it the hard way. There was some confusion. Somebody told me just to cut off the plug and you're good. Well, that doesn't work real well. I was getting some really strange things out of the cart when I uh, was trying to go. I wasn't getting enough power. It was acting real funny, like like maybe half power. Uh, so it was, it was not working and it took me a while to trace back and figure out what I did wrong. Uh, but the answer, the solution was, that's a negative, uh, the, the way the OBC works is on a negative ground switch. So just like I said, cut this yellow wire and you can cut it wherever you want. I, I did it, you know, right here. Uh, other people do it other places. I cut it right here. This is no longer being used. It's no good. Uh, I just leave it there. It's not hurting anything. It's, it doesn't do anything else. It's completely disconnected. Uh, but the wire running to it needs to be grounded. So that's that's what I do. Um, so Sergio, if you're, I hope you still not have a problem. It took me a few days to get this video out. Uh, just cut your yellow wire. Terminate it with a ring terminal and put it on your B negative uh, and you'll find that uh, the cart will operate smoothly just like that. This is no longer an issue. Uh, some people take them out. I didn't even bother taking it out. It's unhooked. All the wires are unhooked. I could probably just take it out. Uh, but I was told just, you know, basically leave it in there and that's what I did. There's a big hole there if you don't. So anyway, that's how you bypass the OBC if you're going to remove the plug. Um, now there's other methods if you want to continue to use and you're not using an onboard charger if you want to continue to use that there's methods where all you have to do is take the fuse out of the um, the factory charger and then you're going to run a ground to your negative battery post there's plenty of videos on that uh, there wasn't any videos on this particular model um, for you know not that I could find to just bypass the controller if you're leaving it in place. Uh, but it works fantastic. Um, I think I had another question about uh, my 12 volt uh, converter. There's, it seems a lot of people are converting their carts and there's always a question of, you know, how, how do I get power to it or whatever? So what's happened here, and I, I addressed this in a previous video, is um, I relayed uh, my switch. It's to the cold side of the uh, switch on the dash. And when you turn the switch on, it activates that relay, 
which turns on the converter and sends power to that 12 volt fuse block and uh, that's what powers all of my accessories now this cart from the factory had a fuse block mounted right here and it was just kind of an open fuse block and it had four or five uh, prongs on it i took all that off and attached whatever was on that fuse block i put it to uh, i put it here so um, now I have 12 volt power. But basically, um, you know, there's no need to do anything else. The only thing you should have on your terminals at this point is uh, the main, the main lead coming from the, you know, positive solenoid. Um, this is for the charger. It goes to the onboard charger. And this goes to my uh, goes to my uh, 12 volt converter, and on the negative side, if you can take it over here, on the negative side, it's the same thing: 12 volt uh, converter and battery charger. And this is your last uh, this is your last negative terminal from your lead acid pack, and that's about all there is to it. Hope that helps.